您现在收看的是华氏教育文化频道。接下来要播出的是英文文法与修辞一。大家好，欢迎再次收看《英文文法与修辞》。这一周我们看的是第十五讲次 ，Preposition of Time， 时间介系词。首先，我为同学说明本讲次目标。嗯、我们这一周讲次目标是帮同学理解。英文前置词的概念，我们还要探讨英文时间前置词 ，in、on、at、during、before、after 的位置、用法与规则。前置词我们也叫做介系词，这是两种都有人称这文法的名词。它是放在名词前面，显示名词句中和其他字词之间的关系。那时间介系词，它包括 in、on、at、during、before、after 等等。我们可以用以下的表格帮同学理解时间。嗯 ，in 的话，它是放在 months 月份，像一月、二月、哈三月、十二个月 ；season 四季，春夏秋冬 ；year 像二零一五年 ；century 二十一世纪等等。还有 in the morning, in the afternoon， 这些我们前面都有 in 这个时间介系词。on 的话是放在 day， 像 Monday, Tuesday, Thursday， 一个礼拜七天哈。dates 像日期，像一月五号等等。holidays 像这个假日或者是节庆，像是 Christmas 哈，或是 New Year's Eve。记住那个 on 加 on Christmas 是指说。呃，圣诞节那一天当天，那下面这个 at 呢，它是 exact time， 就是说像 at one o'clock 就比较准确，就是一点钟。那 at noon 就中午时间 ，midday 就是也是指中午的哈时候。那 Christmas、Easter 这前面也可以用 at， 那就跟同学强调一下，这个 at Christmas 跟 on Christmas Eve 它的不同是说。On 的话是指那一天，那 at Christmas 是指圣诞节的那个前后一两个礼拜，或是 Easter 就是他这个复活节那一个节庆。像圣诞节，它可能从十二月中旬到一月初，我们都讲说那个过年圣诞节的那个时间，那是用 at。During 的话，哈，我们就讲说 a period of time。During 是指一。段的时间上 ，during his stay in Taiwan， 在他在台湾待在台湾的那一段时间，所以 during 是要指一段时间。Before 是一个年或一个时间之前，像 before 2015， 二零一五年之前。After 呢，也是在一个时间之后，像 after dinner 就是说，呃，在晚餐后。好，这大致的这些时间介系词的用法。我们以下就课文来做说明。A preposition is a word placed before a noun to show relationship between that noun and some other words in the sentence. 就这个介系词哈，它是这个字要放在名词的前面，来显示这个 relationship 这个关系 between the noun and some other words in sentence， 就是显示这个。名词和其他字在句子中间的关系是用介系词来显示。In this lecture， 我们这个课文里面 ，we will focus on the time preposition。我们要 focus 就聚焦在这个
时间介系词 ，which include 包括 in、on、at、during、before、after 这些时间介系词，介系词也叫前置词都可以哈，这翻译的用法。The preposition is usually placed between months。这个 in 这个字哈，它通常是放在 months， 就是月，像一月、二月、三月、十二个月 season。就是 spring, winter, or 这个 fall, fall 这个秋季或是就在四季的前面，我们就是用 season 哈，用 in。然后 year 也是用 in， 哪一年 century 也是哪一个世纪，就通常比较大的一个时间哈。不过像 in the morning 早上 ，in the afternoon 我们也用这个 in 这个时间介系词。我们来看底下的例句。The spring semester will start in February. 这春季哈 starts 就是开始是 in February 二月开始就二月这个春季这个这一学期开始通常是二月开始 I will teach you scuba diving in the summer. 我教你哈怎么样浮潜 in the summer 夏天就夏天我会教你浮潜然后 his New Year's resolution. In 2015, 他二零一五呢，新年新希望啊是什么呢 ？Is to get into a good graduate school. 是要进入一个好的研究所。I usually wake up at 6 a.m. in the morning. 我通常哈 wake up 是醒来 at 6 a.m. in the morning. 六点醒来 in the morning. 所以早上哈要用 in in the morning. School is closed at 5 p.m. 学校呢是什么时候下课？五点。In the afternoon， 下午五点。然后 the preposition on， 我们接下来看这个 on 这个介系词，它是 generally placed before days of the week。通常是哈放在这个 days of the week， 就是指说星期一、星期二、星期三。我们讲说 on Monday、on Tuesday、on Wednesday 等等哈。Dates 是指一个日期，像一月一号、二月五号等等 ，or holiday 或者是节庆、假日。Here are some examples. 我们看例句。I have three classes to teach on Friday. On Friday， 我礼拜五哈有三门课，我要三门课 to teach 就要要上这个三个班级的课。My family is going to visit my grandparents on January first. 我的全家 family， 我们全家哈，要去 visit， 去看，去拜访，去看我的 grandparents。这个祖父母跟外祖父母都可以哈。On January first， 就一月一号元旦的时候，我们要去看祖父母或者外祖父母。The whole class， 我们全全班要怎么样呢 ？Having a trip。即将有一个 trip 要去旅行，去哪里呢？要去哪玩呢？是去台北 City 入台北市立动物园。On Friday 就礼拜五那一天，所以用 on。On Friday afternoon 好，所以 on Friday 是用 on。那礼拜五的下午也是用 on Friday afternoon。这是 on 的用法。My mother-in-law is leaving for Norway on New Year's Eve. 我的母亲哈，岳母这个 mother 是母亲 ，in law 就法律上的母亲，不是血缘关系，就是岳母。她是 leaving for 即将前往挪威，什么时候去呢 ？On New Year's Eve， 这 New Year's Eve 哈就是除夕夜的时候，她去挪威。Regarding the preposition at， 那关于这个介系词 at 怎么用呢 ？It is as a rule。就是原则上 ，as a rule， 这规则是这样子 ：place before the exact time， 放在什么前面 ？place before exact time， 就是一个呃 exact 就很明确的时间上，像 at noon 就是中午、正午哈 ，midday 也是中午的时间，或者是 holiday。可是 holiday 的时候哈，像 Christmas 或是 Easter， 我们就要提醒同学。假如是 holidays 是代表那个节庆的那一段日子，像我们说圣诞节前后，圣诞节假如说是二十五号，可是它可能从十五号，然后到那个新年
，所以 at Christmas 跟 on Christmas 是不一样。On Christmas Eve 我们讲说，这可能是圣诞夜那一天，可是 at Christmas 就代表说圣诞节假期那个一两个礼拜前后。好，我们再看例句 ，This math math class 这个数学课哈 ，starts at one。O'clock in the afternoon, 就是用 at 下午一点整哈。我们这个数学课开始上课。The train will arrive at Taipei at noon. 这个中午哈 ，at noon 就中午时候，这个 train 火车会抵达台北。Shirley is coming to visit me at Christmas. 那 Shirley 哈，她要来。Visit me 来拜访我，来看我哈。什么时候来呢 ？At Christmas， 这个就是指圣诞假期，不知道是哪一天。假如是圣诞节那一天的话，当天十二月二十五号，我们就 On Christmas。可是这 At Christmas 就是指说圣诞节假期那个前后一两个礼拜他会来。Other time preposition， 那其他的一些时间介系词 ，including 包括这个 During。During 是指，呃，一段时间，在什么什么期间内。Before 是在什么时间前 ，After 时间之后。那 During refer to a period of time. During 指的是 a period of time， 就一段的时间。For example， 比方说 ，He has improved his Chinese. 他 improve his Chinese 就是中文哈，很就是能力大增，就中文变好了。During his one year stay in Taiwan, 在什么期间内 ？During 在他一年 stay one year stay 就一年的停留在台湾，结果中文就把它练得很好了。Before and after 那另外这两个介系词 before 和 after 它是 place before a definite time clause， 是放在一个 definite 很明确的 time clause 时间的片语子。这边时间的子句哈 ，time class， 或是 phrase 片语，或者是 word， 或者是一个单字。我们比方，我们来看例句 ：I want to travel around the world before I die。我希望要 travel around the world， 环游全世界 before I die， 在我死之前。所以这个很明确，死之前用 before。I'm sure. I'm not sure. 我不太确定。If we have a spirit after we die, if 是否不太确定是否我们有这个灵魂 a spirit 灵魂存在 after we die 死了之后灵魂是不是还存在？好，接着请同学听外籍老师再读一次课文，注意老师的发音，请跟着一起念出来。A preposition is a word placed before a noun. To show relationship between that noun and some other word in the sentence. In this lecture, we will focus on the time prepositions, which include in, on, at, during, before, and after. The preposition in is usually placed before months, seasons, years. Centuries, the morning and the afternoon. Here are some examples. The spring semester starts in February. I will teach you scuba diving in the summer. His New Year's resolution in 2015 is to get into a good graduate school. I usually wake up at 6 a.m. in the morning. School is closed at 5 p.m. in the afternoon. The preposition on is generally placed before days of the week, dates, or holidays. Here are some examples. I have three classes to teach on Friday. My family is going to visit my grandparents on January 1st. The whole class is having a trip to. The Taipei Zoo, Taipei City Zoo, on Friday afternoon. My mother-in-law is leaving for Norway on New Year's Eve. 
regarding preposition at, it is, as a rule, placed before the exact time at noon or midday and holidays such as Christmas or Easter. Here are some examples. This math class starts at one o'clock in the afternoon. The train will arrive at Taipei at noon. Shirley is coming to visit me at Christmas. Other time prepositions include during, before, and after. During refers to a period of time. For example, he has improved his Chinese during his one year stay in Taiwan. Before and after are placed before a definite time clause, phrase, or word. For example, I want to travel around the world before I die. I am not sure if we have a spirit after we die. Preposition. Even advanced learners of English find prepositions difficult. Preposition is a word, and it is a Even advanced learner of English, advanced learner, 我们beginner是指说这个最初级的 preposition difficult的介系词蛮困难的。好,我们看下一个单字。科技 bloom at the turn of the century. Bloom 是像花开一样, at the turn of the century, 就是在世纪, 就20世纪末到, 转到21世纪的时候, 这个科技哈, 大大的进步发展. 好, scuba diving. Her favorite activity is scuba diving. Scuba diving is Her favorite activity, scuba diving, Resolution. She faced her challenge with great resolution. Resolution, 决心, 下定决心, she faced. 他面对他的challenge挑战 with great resolution 就是带着很大的决心面对他的挑战就一定要成功等等。好。Regarding inquiries regarding civil rights will be directed to another channel. Regarding 这是介系词是关于的意思。Inquiry就是询问。Regarding civil right, 关于这 civil right 哈, 就是民老百姓的这个权利, 哈, will be directed to another channel, 就是我们会把它导入, 就是另外的一个channel, 另外的管道, 就是还有别的管道去询问, 去解决. Easter, the Easter bunny is the mascot of the Easter holiday. Easter, 这基督教我们里面称作是复活节 Easter Bunny就是复活节 有那个Bunny就是小兔子 它是Mascot of Easter, Hol- Easter Holiday 就是它的一个Mascot我们讲吉祥物 就是复活节的这个兔子 Period Many musicians went through a spiritual period during the 70s. Period is one Many musicians, many went through, they spiritual period, 
精神成长的一段时间 ，during the seventies， 就是指一九七零年代。Improvement, although the project was well done, it still has room for improvement. Improvement, 增进、改进的意思。Although the project was well done, 虽然这个计划哈做得很好 ，well done, it still have room for improvement. 可是仍然有改进的空间 ，room for improvement. 好，下一个字。Definite. There was a definite sign that he was depressed. Definite 是形容词，明确的。There was a definite sign. 有很明确的一个迹象。That he was depressed. 他很沮丧 Spirit, although he passed away, his spirit lives on in his children. 好 ，spirit 是灵魂的意思。Although he passed away, 这个虽然他过世了，我们讲 die 是太直接哈，讲委婉一点就是 pass away. His spirit. 他的灵魂 lives on in his children. Lives on 就是继续着活着 in his children， 在他的小孩子的心中心目中。好，今天的延伸在学习单元，我们还是请 Randy 老师来为我们说故事、学英文。Hello, Randy. Hello. So, what story are you going to tell us?、Uh, the North Wind and the Sun. Okay, go ahead, please. The North Wind and the Sun had a quarrel about which of them was the stronger. While they were disputing, with much heat and bluster, a traveler passed along the road. Wrapped in a cloak, let us agree," said the sun, "that he is the stronger who can strip that traveler of his cloak." Very well," growled the north wind, and at once sent out a cold, howling blast against the traveler. With the first gust of wind, the ends of the cloak whipped about the traveler's body. But he immediately wrapped it closely around him, and the harder the wind blew, the tighter he held it to him. The north wind tore angrily at the cloak, but but at his efforts were in vain. Then the sun began to shine. At first his beams were gentle, and in the pleasant warmth, after the bitter cold of the north wind, the traveler was unfastened. His cloak and let it hang loosely from his shoulders. The sun's rays grew warmer and warmer. The man took off his cap and mopped his brow. At last, he became so heated that he pulled off his cloak and, to escape the blazing sunshine, threw himself down in the welcome shade of a tree by the roadside. Okay, Randy. Why you choose this story? What can we learn from it? Well, I think the moral is that we think of the wind like very forceful, like a typhoon, and the sun is kind and gentle. And if we want good results, I think it's better to use gentleness than forcefulness. Okay. So Randy 老师讲说哈，这个北风和太阳的故事哈，基本上北风是代表很严厉的哈。那这个用武力，然后用很严厉的手段。那上是很温和。那假如说我们要赢得胜利哈，那基本上可能用比较温和的一种方式，会比北风那种严代表严厉会比较好。那基本上这个故事。就是告诉我们这个教训哈。那现在我来为同学大致讲解一下这个故事内容。The North Wind and the Sun had a quarrel about which of them was the stronger. 北风和太阳，他们有一个 quarrel 争论，哪一个人是强者。While they were disputing with much heat and bluster， 当他们哈 disputing 正在争论 ，heat and bluster 就是说。很愤怒、很激烈的争吵着
a traveler pass along the road wrapped in a cloak. 那有一个旅行的人哈，他经过这条路上 wrapped in cloak 就是紧紧的用斗篷包裹着哈，太冷了。Let us agree, said the sun. 这个太阳就说。那我们现在就决定好了 ，that he is the stronger who can strip the traveler of his cloak。我们之中谁是强者的话，就是用谁能够让这个旅行的人哈把他斗篷脱掉，就胜利了。Very well, growled the north wind。这个北风就怒嚎着说：“很好。” And at once send a cold howling blast against the traveler。然后立刻呢就吹出。很强的强风哈，对着这个旅行者来吹。With the first gust of wind， 那第一阵强风 ，the end of the cloak whip about the traveler's body。然后这种强风吹过这个旅行者的这个身体的时候 ，but he immediately wrap it close around him。可是呢，这个旅人他立刻的把这个斗篷又紧紧的包着自己哈。And the harder the wind blew, 这个风越大 ，the tighter he held it to him. 他就越把这个身体包裹的越紧。The north wind tore angrily at the cloak. 这个哈北风哈就很愤怒的扯着这个斗篷。But all his effort were in vain. 所有这个努力哈都是无效的。Then the sun began to shine. 然后呢，太阳就开始发出光芒。At first, 就是首先呢，这个 being 是指阳光哈，是很温和 gentle, and in the pleasant warmth, 很愉令人愉快的温暖的。然后 after the bitter cold of the north wind, 在这北风哈又冷又寒的北风之后，这阳光显得很 pleasant， 很愉快 ，warmth 很温暖。The travelers unfasten his cloak. 这旅旅行。的人呢，就把他这个斗篷哈 unfasten fasten 本来是扣起来 unfasten 就把它解开来 ，let it hang loosely from his shoulder， 让他哈就是很松散的挂在肩头上。The sun's ray grew warmer and warmer， 那阳光呢越来越温暖。The man took off his cap， 就把这个帽子还有这个拿下来，然后哈把就是 mop his brow 就。擦了擦他的额头，哈，然后 at last he became so heated. 然后最后呢，觉得越来越热了，然后他就 pull off his cloak， 把这个斗篷把它呃拿下来，脱下来 to escape the blazing sun. 然后就可以脱下来，然后就避免这个 blazing 就很灼热这个阳光，哈 threw himself down in the welcome shade of the tree. By the roadside, 然后呢，就开始哈躲到这个路旁树荫底下去。所以最后这两个人谁胜利了？当然就是，呃，太阳，温暖的太阳哈。北风越吹，然后他就是旅人就越冷，就包得紧紧。可太阳一出来以后，他就反而哈，就是把这个帽子先脱了，然后斗篷脱了，然后躲到树荫下去。那个去躲避这阳光，所以 Randy 老师就是讲说哈，呃，基本上我们也有说这个胡萝卜和棒子。So you know that story, right? Carrot and the stick. Oh yeah, right. The carrot and the stick. It's similar to that also. Okay. 所以基本上啊，另外一个类似的故事就是说 ，carrot 是胡萝卜 ，stick 是棒子，就哪一个好呢？当胡萝卜会比棒子好。那这边就是。呃，北风很严厉，然后一个是太阳很温暖。那同学就知道说做人的故事哈，做人的道理。好，非常谢谢 Randy 老师 ，Thank you for bringing us such an interesting story. Thank you very much. 好，那我们下个礼拜请同学继续收看。